Welcome to the April edition of City News. I'm Kelly Hunter. Today we'll highlight all of the newsworthy events that took place in the city of Douglasville last month during March 2014. First up, March 8th was the baseball opening day at Hunter Park and the weather was perfect. Douglasville Athletic Director Miko Bursich filed this report. Hi, I'm Miko Bursich, the Athletic Director for the City of Douglasville. And here I am today at Hunter Memorial Park kicking off the opening day for the spring 2014 Hunter Park baseball season. This year we have 27 teams total and we have roughly around 280 kids. Uh, every year our program is growing and everybody's having an opportunity to come out here and enjoy this beautiful facility. Our season runs through mid-May, so come out to Hunter Park and enjoy some youth baseball and support your local community. We'll look forward to seeing you in Hunter Park this season for baseball. Douglasville Mayor Harvey Persons appointed an ad hoc committee to study the city's response to two major snow events we experienced this past winter. The Unusual Occurrence Preparedness Ad Hoc Committee met on March 13th and then reported back to full council on March 17th. Douglasville Police Chief Chris Womack, Deputy Chief Gary Sparks, and Maintenance Director Greg Roberts all presented reports to the committee. Douglas County EMA Director Jason Mulholland also briefed the committee on the county's response, and City Manager Bill Osborne reported on the state's response to the storms. Main Street Douglasville sponsored their annual Small Business Academy on March 6th at the Douglasville Conference Center Annex and heard presentations on mission and vision, business plan development, and tax issues for small businesses. Patrice William, Douglasville's Community Development Manager, was there with this report. I'm Patrice Williams, Community Development Manager for the City of Douglasville. Currently we are hosting our Small Business Academy for businesses located here in the City of Douglasville. We are excited about this educational opportunity that is offered once a year for local businesses. Again, want to welcome you. You will find it to be very beneficial. You will hopefully learn some things. Uh, this class or this endeavor was awarded an award last year by DCA, which DCA's Department of Community Affairs, for the creativity, the innovation of the program and what it offers to business owners. If you would like more information, please contact me at 678-449-3028. My number again is 678-449-3028. Mayor Persons presented a proclamation to representatives of the American Red Cross at the March 3rd Council meeting in recognition of March 2014 being American Red Cross Month. March has been observed as American Red Cross Month since President Franklin D. Roosevelt first proclaimed it in 1943. The City of Douglasville since also makes that American proclamation Cross, every year to honor the Red Cross volunteers here in our city. You can watch all of City TV's programming on our YouTube channel, Douglasville City TV, or like us on Facebook. We'll be back with more City News. Stay tuned. The Bunny is back for the third annual Breakfast with the Easter Bunny and Egg Hunt, April 12th at 9 a.m. at the Icoings Community Center at Hunter Park. Enjoy breakfast and picture time with Easter Bunny, and then hop on over to the Egg Hunt to find those elusive golden prize eggs. Tickets are limited for this special Easter event, so pre-register before April 12th. For more information, call 770-920-3007 or visit the Parks and Recreations page at douglaswillega.gov. It's time to tee up for a good cause with the 20th Annual City of Douglasville Charity Golf Tournament at West Pines Golf Club. This four-man scramble-style tournament will kick off at 10 a.m. on May 14th and includes breakfast, lunch, a silent auction, and trophies and prizes awarded to top teams for longest drive and closest to the pin. Proceeds from this tournament will benefit the Hunter Park Miracle League Baseball Program. For more information on how you can be a part of the City of Douglasville Charity Golf Tournament, contact Miko Bursage at 678-449-3072 or visit the Parks and Recreation page 
at douglasvillega.gov. Welcome back. Congratulations goes out to the Douglasville Police Department Employees of the Year. Police Chief Chris Womack recognized three Police Department employees for their outstanding service to the City of Douglasville in the March 17th Council meeting. The next item on our agenda is a presentation by our Police Chief Chris Womack of an award to each of the three Police Department Employees of the Year. Thank you, Mr. Mayor, City Council. Um, tonight's a special night for the Police Department when we have the opportunity um, to recognize some of our all-stars, and we've got a ton of them. You know, my only regret at this point is that we're only recognizing three. There's a lot of them. It's a lot of stiff competition for this, and uh, it's my pleasure at this time to recognize Mr. Kevin Castle as our Civilian Employee of the Year for the Douglasville Police Department. Thanks a lot. Gil, on behalf of the Douglasville Police Department, it is my privilege and pleasure to present you with the Officer of the Year for 2013. Mayor, members of the City Council, I give you our Supervisor of the Year, Sergeant Chris Bender. We are very fortunate to have the caliber of people that we have throughout the city, first of all, with all of our employees, but then the caliber of law enforcement that we have, I feel is next to none. Douglasville residents are fortunate to have such capable and caring folks working in our police department to keep us safe 24 seven. Thank you to all of the Douglasville Police Department. The patio deck overlooking O'Neill Plaza at the Irish Bread Pub was completed in March and just in time for the 6th annual St. Patrick's Festival weekend. Pub owner Neil Jenkins had these comments to say on his Facebook page. We're very proud of this new addition to our restaurant and hope that it provides another reason for visitors to enjoy a trip to historic downtown Douglasville. He continued by saying, thanks goes out to everyone that has made this patio addition possible from officials at City Hall to all of the contractors who built it. Spring is always a busy time of year for the Douglasville Parks and Recreation Department. With the opening of the regular baseball season, Bennett Oliver, Miko Bursich, and their department staff kicked it up a notch in late March this year with their annual travel team baseball tournament, Champs Wear the Rings. Steve Jones has more on this story. We're here at Hunter Park today for the first big travel ball tournament of the season. It's Champs Wear the Ring. Teams from all across the area in town today playing on the great fields here at Hunter Park. We've got age groups from T-ball all the way up to high school here today playing in this great facility. It's the first of many travel ball tournaments coming to Hunter Park this season. It's going to be a great season of baseball in Douglasville at Hunter Park. For City TV, I'm Steve Jones. Douglasville Parks and Recreation Director Bennett Oliver is working with the City Council to explore providing an ADA-approved playground at Hunter Park. The Council heard a presentation from Landscape Structures Incorporated about the feasibility of such a playground. The ADA recently revised its minimum requirements for elevated and ground-level play activities, as well as surfacing. More news is on the way, so stay tuned. We'll be right back. It's time again for the 18th annual City of Douglasville Easter Egg Hunt. Come and enjoy this free family event on Saturday, April 19th at the Harvey Jones Memorial Stadium at Jesse Davis Park. The hunt will begin at 11 a.m. for ages 6 and under and at 11.45 a.m. for ages 7 and above. For more information on the City of Douglasville's Easter Egg Hunt, call 770-920-3009 or visit the Parks and Recreation page at douglasvillega.gov. Cast your line and see what you catch at the free Georgia Games Fishing Derby, June 21st at Hunter Memorial Park. 
there will be prizes and fun for the entire family, with medals awarded for the largest and smallest fish caught. This is a free event for the public, so just bring your bait and tackle and join in the fun. Registration begins at 8 a.m. the day of the event. For more information, contact Miko Bursich at 678-449-3072 or visit the Parks and Recreation page at douglasvillega.gov. Don't miss the fun Saturday, June 28th, as Jesse Davis Park hosts the annual Douglasville Horseshoe Tournament. This singles and doubles style tournament is open to adult players of all skill levels, with trophies awarded for first, second, and third place in each division. So come out and join the action, or just cheer on your favorite pitcher at the Douglasville Horseshoe Tournament. To register or for more information, call 770-920-3009, or visit the Parks and Recreation page at douglasvillega.gov. Welcome back to the April 2014 edition of City News. I'm Kelly Hunter. Looking ahead into next month, the annual City of Douglasville Golf Tournament is coming up on May 16th at West Pines Golf Course. This tournament benefits Hunter Park's Miracle League field for special need players. Call to register your team or yourself today. Mayor Harvey Persons made a special visit to Yeager Middle School on March 26th for Career Day. Mayor Person stressed to the students the importance of education in any career path. We're going to begin our career session today with the Mayor of Douglasville. Please give him a hearty welcome. Welcome, Mayor. Again, thank you for being here. Thank you, Ms. Williams. It's certainly my pleasure to be here, and good morning to each and every one of you. The question was, do I ever have anybody that discourages me or maybe talks about me or says ugly things or that kind of thing. That does happen, but I have a little saying. There will always, and this applies to each and every one of you, there will always be detractors in your life, whether they be people, events, illness, or whatever. But the key is you don't let them, and that's up to you, you don't let them cause you a distraction. You need to be focused on what you want to do, whatever goals you want to obtain, whatever career you want to have. Set that out in front of you as a goal and an objective, and that's what you go after. I want to thank you for allowing me to come this morning. I want to thank Ms. Williams for inviting me, and thank your principal for uh, putting together this career day so that you can learn more about different careers and what you may want to do. Assistant City Manager Marsha Hampton has a new show on City TV called Legislative Post, and it airs Tuesdays at 6 p.m. Her first guest was Gretchen Corbin, Georgia's Commissioner of Community Affairs. Douglasville's competition isn't necessarily Polk County. Right. And isn't necessarily Gainesville. Mm -hmm. It could just as easily be a Munich. Right. or a Dubai or an Abu Dhabi. Mm -hmm. um, and so to have had the opportunity to really see the world, the business world, mm -hmm. and to understand um, what our Georgia communities are in competition with, mm -hmm. those locations um, in which they are in competition, gives me the opportunity to come back home to our Georgia communities and say, to be that best community what we need to do is to make sure that we have taken care of our downtown, that we have workforce housing. We hope that you've enjoyed this recap of all the stories of our City TV News Division from March of 2014. Remember the best way to see all of our programming is to visit our YouTube channel at Douglasville City TV. You can watch City TV whenever it's convenient for your schedule and in beautiful HD quality. Remember to like us on Facebook to receive alerts whenever new content is published. And finally, you can always watch or DVR City TV 24-7 on Comcast Channel 22. That's all for now. See you next month. For City TV, I'm Kelly Hunter. <music>